Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into the Real Housewives of Potomac. This was the best episode in the last two seasons. This actually should have been episode number one. So the way the tussle started is Deborah was sitting down, minding her business. Mind you, this is the best thing that Necker has said all season. Like Deborah should have stayed seated. But Deborah was sitting down, her and Candace talking about her, got up to see what she was talking about. So that's when Deborah threw the drink on her. And then Karina reached out to stop Deborah. And Deborah picked up a glass and hit her in the forehead. And then that's how they got down on the floor. We find out from Sharice that she was holding on a little bit because she had picked up a bottle of champagne. Girl, what you was about to do with that? She was right there in your face. And then Karen is sitting around here talking about she doesn't know how Ashley missed that, meaning why did she invite Deborah? Well, first of all, I don't think Ashley meant for this to happen. I thought it would happen. But Ashley is messy. Like, if she thought there were going to be some words, there were going to be some words. And plus, there was a camera there. Deborah was definitely going to take that chance. And honestly, Deborah didn't even have to be there. And I thought it was real crazy that Ashley never went out and checked on uh, Karina. I mean, Kiara. You know who I'm talking about, Kay. So now we get to Mia's Monarch um, photo display, right? The reveal of all the women and their photographs. Um, that's when we find out from Sharice that she was holding a little bit back. And who was that man Karen showed up with talking about her security guard? Where is Ray? Now, Ashley has stated that she's no longer talking to Sesame Street, Deborah, because she realizes that she has no remorse for what she did because she doubled down and started talking about Kay on social media. So she's no longer talking to her. Then Giselle chimes in and says, I don't like the fact that they were tussling to be associated with GNA. Girl, the tussle probably helped GNA. Anything for that fact could have helped GNA because the fashions is not doing it. And before y'all on here get on here talking about I'm talking about women and I should lift them up, tag me when you get ready to do an unboxing of GNA. Now let's keep going. So then Kansas' sister speaks to Ashley and tells her she didn't like it at all, right? And she will be watching over her sister. But it was Candace for me coming in here talking about after the Sears fashion show. That did it for me. <laughs> So Robin has come in. She looked beautiful, right? She said she doesn't know what happened because she had left early, but she was in the room with the producers, so she didn't see anything. But where is Juan? So then Ashley says that she wanted to know how Kay was doing. My thing is, how do you not already know? Why haven't you spoken with her? Why are you asking anyone else? Like, I know that you didn't mean for this to happen, but it was your event and your friend that did this. Why has she not gotten Kay's number and called her to check on her? No, Robin, you do not look like Mariah Carey. I'm, I'm glad that you are aware. So the ladies have gathered to have a conversation and Wendy feels like Deborah Sesson Street had an agenda. I think she did too because the cameras were there because she does a lot on this internet. She could have already had this conversation already. Ashley realizes that she cannot mix friends and in this moment the ladies are having a great conversation and Wendy's like you know we can come together this is great but Giselle is not big enough to come together for her and Wendy to get their situation together like I don't know what it's going to take for Giselle and Wendy I, I have no idea okay the photos of the ladies were nice the words that G said were nice let's get on to it three months later let's go so Wendy and Eddie were talking and said that G had reached out to them and some other castmates and he was talking about the things that Mia were doing that were wrong in the marriage. They thought that G was just talking. Maybe they had a little spat. But then when they went to TMZ, they was like, oh, oh, it's happening. And Mia said, had Gordon not gone to TMZ, they probably would have worked it out. But what set Gordon off is that he saw Mia talking to Ashley, saying that she could have married Gordon for his money. He didn't like that. And that's what got the ball rolling. Child, Mia is the moment. Because at this moment right here, this is how she saved this season and secured next season. But she cannot do this by herself. G then states that Mia has been cheating for 10 years and he's known about it. And he knew his prostate situation. That's why they had the conversation and he had laid some rules down. Mia was supposed to be discreet and not have the kids around ink incognito but that didn't happen because the kids are calling him mr ink they're saying that they've seen mommy in bed with mr ink 
and G is pissed. And you know he's pissed because he cannot properly satisfy his wife. Now, he knows that she's going to do it anyway, so he's giving her permission. And then she's just breaking the rules. Mia, we got to do better. Now, I was done when G said he took Mia's phone for two hours. And she said locked her in the room. Sir, <laughs> it don't matter. When she get out, she going to get to ink. And I think you know that. So then they talked about, you know, she said when he brought up the fact that Jeremiah could be Ink's son and she said it's not being fair. When Gordon told her to go to the carnival, I was done. And I know Mia doesn't tell the truth all the time, right? But I think this was her truth moment. And the way she read Gordon down about the money, the relationship and what she's about to do, that was TV gold, chef's kiss. Mia's that girl, right? She's not leaving incognito. They are clearly in a relationship. Like I said, she's going to have her husband and her man at the reunion. Like, this was the best episode Real Housewives of Potomac has had in two seasons. Let's talk about it in the comments. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.